all right hello everybody this is z from z design uh, in this video uh, i'm going to show you how i made this animation uh, using uh, cinema 4d and also the soft body simulation and collider uh, and etc uh, let's let's first see the animation oops all right let's look at it again so um, I have this ball uh, have an animation, but also it's going to be like a collider uh, colliding with this uh, soft body thing uh, that I made. So um, basically the, the point is that how you can add animation, uh, your custom animation to a uh, collider object or soft body object. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do that in this tutorial. All right, let's get started. All right, so uh, open up your Cinema 4D and let's let's get going. So first, um, I want to create a box and then I'm going to edit it and go to, let's say, the face mode and then hit UL to loop select. Uh, and then I'm going to go to top view and then just hit um, D for extrusion. And then make sure um, I'm not preserving groups. I want to extrude um, individually, so like this. And then just say um, maybe it's um, 100 is good enough. No, not good enough. Let's say 100 and um, let's just do 200. All right, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to select um, select to uh, edge mode and then I'm going to select all of them, all of the top ones uh, like this. And then just pull them down uh, a little bit and then put everything done like this and then what I want to do is to make this uh, on top and hit it to the center if I can and all right so the soft body model is kind of like this uh, anyway this is a base shape uh, shape for the model uh, and then what I'm gonna do is change back to the model view and then you can see this doesn't really have a lot of polygons so what I'm gonna do is well, first let's um, add a bevel to it. Where's my bevel? Uh, it's here. All right, so add a bevel to it. Uh, I'm gonna hit N, B, just to see all these uh, lines. And then let's say I want it offset a bit and then subdivision should be, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I just want the bevel shape to it. And then what I'm gonna do is put it under a uh, remesh. Uh, and I want it to be polygon count. Uh, let's say, yeah, 2,500 is good enough for me. Uh, and then detect hard edges is gonna be shading or auto. Wow, this looks really, really bad. Uh, adaptive count and then symmetry X and symmetry uh, Z, I think. All right. Um, yeah, that's not really good. Um, I'm also gonna, let's say, put it under a, hmm, a cloth surface. No, not really. I'm gonna add it to a thicken so that, um, wait, actually, it should be wrapped by a thicken just so that it has a little bit of depth to it. And yeah, yeah, 10 is fine. And then, what I want to do is give it a, um, a simulation tag. Let's say it's a soft body. So under bullet tag, select soft body. And then uh, if we hit play now, it's just going to fall down because it doesn't have anything to support it. So go back and uh, wait. Uh, hit go back several times. And then let's add a floor. And then give this floor a uh, collider body tag. Oops, missing an L, uh, collider body under bullet, not cloth. And then this one should be fine. Yep. It's having a little bit too many polygons, so the simulation is not very good. I'm just gonna reduce it to 500. And then I'm gonna give this uh, some, some, um, some pressure just to inflate it, 
and uh, let's see how it is. Okay, it's not bad. And then what we want to do is uh, create the ball. So just uh, create a sphere and then make it to the right position. And then make a keyframe for its, uh, I think it's X position, right? And then drag down, create another keyframe like this. So what we want to do here is give it the animation of, um, give it a customized animation. Like uh, here, we want the ball to go from here to there, and then uh, collide with the um, the cloth. And then uh, we'll see what happens. But now it doesn't really have collider tag. So I'm going to give it a... Hit Shift C and search for collider uh, bullet. Well, actually, um, I want. I don't really want the collider tag, but the what's it called? Uh, it's a rigid body. All right. Um, but if you just do it like that, it's just gonna fall. Uh, it's not gonna follow our animation. So what we what do we want to do is go to um, go to the force. Uh, and then under force tab, there's a follow position. Uh, like the name suggests, it's going to try to follow its position. Uh, let's just try, give it a one uh, and see what happens. Well, yeah, you can see it's trying to go, but it's so slow. Okay, so, again. so what we want to do uh, is to play with the uh, animation and play with this uh, spec. Let's say what, what do we get here? Wow. Okay, well, uh, at least it's colliding with this thing. Uh, now what we want to do is to uh, play with the anime, uh, play with the value and try to find something that's good. But uh, let me show you uh, another way. So delete this tag. Well, actually, keep it. Uh, and then what I want to do is to uh, give it a null and then put the animation to my null. So like this, uh, and then select uh, right click, select animation, and then, oops, sorry. That was my alarm. And then copy track, and then go to the null, right click and paste track, and then delete track. Okay, so um, I kind of mess up with the um, the value here. So what I'm gonna do is just to adjust it manually. So we have this, uh, so what we have now is a sphere that does not really have any animation. Uh, and the parent null have the uh, moving data, moving animation. And I'm just gonna uh, change it a bit here. All right, so, um, but we still have the follow position. Uh, I'm just gonna reduce it to uh, one and see what happens. So now you can see the null is animating and it's trying to drag its children, but the children uh, also have this tag. So it's gonna add up. Uh, and also because we have the follow position, it's gonna try to follow its parents. And let me give uh, a little bit more room to this animation. Yeah, you can see it's kind of like that. Um, so in order for the uh, simulation to play better, I'm just gonna reduce the, um, the mesh count here. Uh, probably not that much. Um, let's see what it does. Uh, I try to regroup. I'm trying to regroup them um, like this, and then give the tag to the the one with a little bit better polycount, hoping for a better result. And yeah, it's it's pretty good. I'm gonna say. All right, so this is the base animation I have here. Uh, and then you can uh, try to add some lighting and then texturing. And I'm gonna show you what I get. Oops. I'm gonna show you what I get uh, for this animation. So uh, in the perspective view, you can see it's the same thing, just the ball. And then the ball is, oops, the ball is under a an animation null. And then uh, I actually add a wind uh, modifier just to help speed up the ball moving. Uh, and also I have this um, I have this cloth not affected by the wind. So on the force, uh, there's a uh, force mode include or exclude. I'm excluding it from, uh, for the wind because I don't want the wind to blow this cloth uh, away from its position. 
And yeah, you can see uh, me adding a subdivision surface. It's just going to give this smoother look to the cloth. And then add some light uh, and put up a camera and then set the texture and voila, you are done. Uh, let's see the animation for this one. So yeah, this is the animation I have. Um, one more tip is that you probably uh, also want to play with the mass. So uh, what I, I didn't show you how to play with the mass, uh, it's here. Uh, under the uh, simulation tabs, there's a mass and it's default to use word density. It's gonna try to guess the mass you have for this object based on its volume. But uh, if you wanna change its um, mass or change its density, you can select custom density or custom mass. Uh, selecting custom density is gonna still respect the volume it has, just gonna have a default uh, have a custom density different from the uh, the one that's the default. So I increase this density a little bit, and as you can guess, it's going to be heavier. It's going to have more of an impact on the cloth surface. And yep, that is it. This is how you can add uh, animation to uh, a rigid body simulation or soft body simulation. Uh, you can add the animation to a null uh, and then parent the thin. Uh, parent the rigid body under the null. And then uh, remember remember to uh, click on the follow position and you can guess what happens to the follow rotation. It's gonna try to uh, follow the rotation of the parent. Uh, so yeah, this is uh, what I wanna show you and have a nice day. Uh, I'm gonna upload this uh, source file onto my Gumroad. You can download it there. And if you like this tutorial, uh, click like or subscribe, uh, tweet it to a friend, share it uh, or whatever. Uh, Yep, yeah, thank you for watching and have a nice day.